hope everyone's doing okay. Uh, I want to talk about the pound USD. Because currently we can see the pound just being the strongest, just, uh, just slightly strongest there. CAD is close, um, but the dollar is also going to cross the 5% line. If we cross that line, it's going to be a strong buy because this is the quadrant we were interested in. And this is the quadrant we're interested in. So retail guys are net long, but they're adding long, so that's bearish. Retail guys are short, net, they're net short, but they're adding short. So this would be bullish. So the um, the dollar is going to be potentially going to be a buy. What's interesting is that the euro dollar they're going to probably deviate over time, right? So if that continues to come over here and the dollar comes down then we're going to see Dixie strength because the Dixies comprise mostly of Euro. So um, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw some dollar wrecking ball potentially if the Euro continues to go this way uh, and especially if the dollar comes down. Okay, so that being said, I want to show you some things about the GU, the pound USD. But to go to the um, pound USD chart, we actually see uh, that the dollar is technically stronger than the pound. Uh, this is using all the... Uh, FX pairs on the market watch. Um, so it's collating all that data and it's done a special algorithm to check um, pound strength and USD relative strength. So currently we're, we're tied, right? So there's a big battle going on right now, which would make sense if we look at the bubbles, right? It's closing in on the pound. It wants to defeat the pound, right? And that's the pound wants to defeat the dollar. And that's that's how that works. So. What is interesting, the ADR four hour ADR is actually at the SLC at 13410. Uh, we're not that far away, and it's large off the two, and we've got resistance overhead. Okay, and um, once above, then we can probably target the SLC. But currently, you want to keep an eye on 13444, and the SLC above is 13460. So the stop loss clusters are fairly close, and we've got ADR support here. And we've got a long way to the next support, right? So if we do, if we do hold below this, and the dollar is going to strengthen, then you know we can target down here. So it's a long way, one three two eighty one. So just bear that in mind. I wanted to show you um, some MAs. Um, so this is the uh, uh, what's that? Fifty five. Yesterday's um, wick hit it on the nose, and we know that the MAs are they're gonna well they've got. Um, they're definitely very powerful because you look at your uh, 610, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 respects of the 610. So, you know, that we know that one's good. We know these MAs are valid. And that one hit up just dead on, absolutely dead on. So uh, it makes me think that this could potentially be a resistance again. 1, 3, 4, 5, 6. Um, one three four sixty. So yeah, we're potentially going to come up to that fifty five MA. Grab that stop loss cluster, and we might see a repeat of what happened yesterday. And then it just like hits that resistance, comes down. All right. So it could be quite tricky. It could be a buy up to the MA. But um, you probably maybe want to get yourself these indicators. Don't forget you check your dashboard, and um, the indicators. No story of the starter pack. And your indicators are down there. All right, look for time FX. Download that zip file, and then you get the indicators. So in that zip indicator folder is this indicator, and it's called um, currency strength Gurara 28 pairs. And so that's that. So uh, it tell, it just checks the relative strength of 28 pairs, and it'll tell you, you know, you, what pay that you're trading. So currently we are seeing some dollar strength over the pound. Um, so potentially what you would might want to do is check your risk. So S&P, um, go to the US 500 if I can find it. Let's see. Uh, so we are very, very dominantly strong. All right, so um, really the pound USD could continue. Um, however, I was gonna show you this if I can, if it'll allow me to. Um, we've got a monthly range so what's interesting here, I'll show you this. All right, so this is the US 500 on the day. And um, right, so we've got the weekly range low, your monthly range low, weekly range high, monthly range high. 
All right, so um, what we're currently undergoing, we are hitting the monthly range high right now at 4796. We're 4795. So, um, relatively speaking, we could be hitting resistance because we hit the monthly range high. Um, if so, then that's going to, you know, that will help the dollar because the dollar will act as a safe haven and as would the yen as well. So, you might want to keep an eye on 4795 and um, MR2 as well, 4814. So, some levels of interest. If this falls, then uh, the dollar, um, sorry, the GU will fall as well because the dollar will strengthen and it looks like it might be giving us like a heads up, uh, potentially. Uh, however, the yen is weakest, so you'd want that to be a little bit stronger if we're gonna go risk off, unless it's just early days. So hopefully it helps. Um, remember to check your Euro pound as well if you're trading GU. It looks like we've got some supports down here uh, we haven't really come down and tested it. This is the weekly S1. So we've got that wick. Yeah, in fact, it's exact, isn't it? You can see there and see there. And then we didn't quite close below. So we, we did make a, a higher low, <laughs> which is uh, just about, wow, yes, what's that? That's about 10, 11 pips. So uh, it could be a tricky one. Don't forget, I'm going to do one more bulletin tomorrow. And then that'll be it for the new year. I think potentially this is going to be uh, holding resistance, right? So keep an eye on 13461 and I'll be back tomorrow. And maybe I'll do a video. And if you want any information or any charts, just let me know. And if not, I'll speak to you soon.